In this video, I will teach you the basics of the NLA editor in Blender. So let's get started. So I have the latest Blender, so Blender 4.2 as of right now. And I'm going to quickly show you the basics of Blender in under five minutes. So let's get started. So to get to the NLA editor, we're going to move up the timeline. This is, this is the um, default interface, by the way. Just click this button and the non-linear animation this is the nla editor so nla stands for non-linear animation now this is where you will see your strips and all that stuff when you are animating now the basic use of the nla editor is for like organizing your animations and all that kind of stuff so i'm going to give you an example so we have now when we are using nla editor you usually use the dope sheet as well with it so you you have the nla editor down here and the dope sheet and you change it to the action editor so what you would do is that you would click on your object that you want to put action on click new now you will see we will have an action in the nla editor it's because the action editor and the nla editor are directly linked so we're going to add an action to this cube we can rename this to cube moving and as you will see, it will it will change it in the NLA editor as well. So we're gonna add a, I'm gonna add I to add a keyframe to move it up, and I'm going to add move it over here and I to add a keyframe. And now as you can see, it would move like that. And as you can see, we will have this strip. As you can see, you weren't able to um move this strip right now. It's because you have to push it down. When you push it down, it says when you hover over it, it will say push down on the NLA stack as a new strip. So if you press this, it will move it down. And as you can see, we can move this strip now. So if we do over here, the cube will not move until it gets to um, 90 frames and then it will do its action over there. Now that is what the basics, the absolute basis of an NLA editor. Now the NLA editor is very useful when you have lots of objects in your scene. Now, for example, if I add shift A and add a plane and shift A, we're going to add a curve, move it up here, and shift A, we add, a, let's say, a text. Now, they get very, very, very messy when we're animating. And on the timeline, you would, you would not want to have a million keyframes in that thing. So, for example, if I want to get a new action over here on text, and then I would probably do it over here, here. I would I to add a keyframe and then move it. Let's move it up on the z-axis and I to add a keyframe. As you can see, it added, it added. You can see we we added a keyframe over here down here as well. Change it to text text animation and then we push it down and then you'll see we add a strip. So when I click this, set only you can grab it and move it around, and you can only also scale it up with the S. Okay, now grab. Move it there, and as you can see, when it moves up, you'll see it's moving up as well. Now, that is the absolute basics of the NLA editor. If you want to go into more advanced techniques in the NLA editor, please comment down below, and I'll probably have a video in my profile. So, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share with anyone who needs help with the basics NLA editor. And I'll see you in another video.